Welcome to March's Lead Code Challenge. Today's problem is generate random point in a circle. Given the radius and the xy positions of the center of a circle, write a function random point which generates a uniform random point in the circle. So basically we're given a radius length and the xy coordinates and we want to return a random point inside of that circle. Now how do we do that? So this question is not easy. Full disclaimer, I had to look it up immediately. I, I, just didn't even know where to begin with this. Uh, but basically, here's the basic intuition. What we're gonna do is calculate um, two variables here. We wanna calculate the theta, which is basically gonna give us a value for which the degree at which this radius is gonna be at, as well as a random point in the radius itself. Uh, the reason for that is we wanna find an xy point, right? And we can use the, uh, go back to our basic geometry and use cosine sine to calculate the xy points if we have the theta and we have the radius then we can um, calculate what the xy point coordinates would be as long as these two are uniformly random right so to start off what I do is we'll initialize a couple of variables here this will be x center and this will be y center all right, and now we need to calculate, when we do our random point function, we need to calculate some random theta. So what would it need to be between? Well, theta is gonna be between zero and two times pi. All right, so we can use the random uniform function to take care of this. What we'll do is say, uh, get, a, get a random value between zero and two times max dot pi. Uh, and this is gonna be our theta. Now our radius, uh, it's a little bit tricky because it's not like we could just um, use the random uniform between zero and radius. Uh, that doesn't work for some reasons that I don't want to get into. Uh, basically, what we'll have to do then is let's first calculate the area. Okay, and the area is going to be, uh, it will be, what is it, radius, or I should say self.r uh, squared times math of pi, right? And we want to get a random radius here, and we'll get random.uniform. Uniform between zero and area uh, divided by pi. That's not pi, I believe. Okay. Okay, so now we have our radius. Oh, wait, and we have to square root this, of course. Right now we want to return a list, uh, calculate the x y coordinates. So to do that, I'll get the cosine of the theta, Oops. and I'm going to multiply that by let's see self dot x plus um, what is it radius times the cosine theta, and we're going to do the same thing for the y. So we're going to use sine here. like this. Okay, so let's see if this works. Uh, it's hard to tell right now, so let's go ahead and submit that. And there we go. So that's the answer. Um, it looks like, man, I'm so brilliant because I came up with this on the spot. No, I didn't. This is actually very difficult. Um, but if you really want to, you know, brush up on your geometry and look more into detail, I highly recommend it. Just hopefully this gave you kind of a stepping stone to like uh, understand it more. Certainly it's disappointing when you're solving so many legal problems and you come across one you have like no idea how to solve. Uh, but you know what, just gotta keep going. Uh, hopefully this is something that I'll be able to integrate and put into my toolkit, so. All right, thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me, I know nothing.